Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Afro Samurai. Let's get started in the center of our page with the lower edge of the eyebrow. So we move over to the left side. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve in and then down. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the inside of the eyebrow, curve up and then out. Let's connect these two points with a slight curve coming down the middle. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and then up. Now let's go in and draw on the top of the eyebrow. Starting from the left, we're going to curve this out and up towards the tip. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now on the left, we're just going to curve this back down and in. Coming down. Now we're going to point this out again, going up and out. Now I just want to bring this back down towards that same starting point. Coming in and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. This time I'm going to start on the inside. Curve up and out. Now I'm going to taper this back down and in. Now I'm going to work my way out towards the corner of the eyebrow. Let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrows. So starting on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve coming down and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to tuck the iris and pupil underneath the brow. So in the middle of the eye, start with a small half circle. And then at the top, I'm going to draw a small black dot. Let's do the same thing on the right side. On the inside edge of the eyes, I'm going to draw a curve coming out and then down. Now right in the middle, we're going to step down and draw the nose. Starting from the left, I'm going to curve down and then up. We're going to add the smile line. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. Directly below the nose, we're going to add the mouth. We're going to start with a curve coming down and up. Now on the ends, I'm going to curve these down towards the corner of the mouth. Now directly below the mouth, I'm going to draw the lower lip, just a small curve. Now just underneath the mouth, I'm going to add the chin. So at the bottom corner of the mouth, I'm going to step down, curve down towards the bottom of the chin, and then back up on the right side. Now let's move out and draw on the side of the cheek. From the corner of the eye, we're going to step out, I'm going to curve around the cheek, and just pull that in underneath the chin, leaving a little overlap. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, we're going to add the edge of the beard. Start from the top of the cheek, curve down and in. And I'm going to do another curve coming down towards the bottom side of the chin. Come down and pull that in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go ahead and fill these areas in black. Now from here, we're going to work our way up towards the headband. Starting from the top of the cheek, we're going to curve out and up around the eyebrow. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's connect these two points with a curve coming down. Starting on the left, come down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now we're going to draw on the front edge of the hair. So starting on this point, we're going to draw a series of curves coming in and up. Now I'm just going to draw a random series of curves going across. Now we can vary the size of these. We can go larger, small, and just work our way across towards the right side. Now I'm going to start to bend this down. See the small curves coming down towards that corner. Now in the center of the headband, we're going to add a circle. Now we're going to tuck this in underneath the hair. So starting on the left, we'll work our way around towards the bottom of the circle, and then back up. Now let's move to the side and draw on the ears. We're going to start just above the cheek. Start by curving up and out, rounding out the ear. Now I'm going to bring this into right about there. We're going to add the earring. So just over this line, we're going to draw two straight lines side by side. Now along the top, we're going to connect these two points with a curve going up and then down. Now along the bottom, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Now let's just finish off the ear. We're going to continue that curve in behind the earring, in towards the side of the head. Now on the side of the head, we're just going to draw a curve going up 
and out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we're just gonna line this up, curve up and out, round out the ear and just pull that into right about there. We're gonna add the earring, two lines. We'll close off the top with a curve and then we'll close off the bottom. And then again, continue the curve of the ear in behind the head. And just above the earring, we're gonna curve up and out. Now we can go in and add in the hair. We're starting on the side of the ear. We're gonna draw a wave that goes all the way up towards the left. So just waving this line, just randomly and going up. Now we're gonna work our way up towards the top of the head. Starting from the tip, we're gonna curve down and up. Now we're just gonna wave this all the way up towards the top of the head. We're gonna curve this around with a series of waves. Again, this can be just random. We flare it out a little bit and then we're gonna pull this in towards the side of the ear. We're gonna add the lower part of the hair. Again, starting from the side of the ear, I'm just gonna wave this around, come in, and then up underneath the head. Do the same thing on this side. Going around the earring, and then back in behind the head. Now that we've completed the head, let's work our way down the body. On the sides of the chin, we're gonna step down. On the left side, we're gonna curve out, and just pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. Curving out, and then pulling that in. We'll connect these two points with the curve for the lower part of the shirt. Now we're gonna add the collar of the shirt. Starting from this corner, we're gonna curve out and then up just on the right side of the chin. Now on the left side of the chin, I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction, coming down and in. I just wanna add the trim around the collar. Stepping out, just follow that same curve coming down. And then same thing from the right, coming down and over towards the left. Continue working down. I'm going to start with the belt. Just on the left side here, we're going to draw a straight line. The same thing on the right. Again, we're going to connect these two points with that same curve from left to right. Now in the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now we're going to leave a small gap in the center. On the left, we're going to curve out and then down towards the left side of the pant. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now the bottom of the pant is torn up, so we start on the left side here, we're just going to draw a wave going out and up. Do the same thing on the right side of the same length. Now from the end, I just want to curve in and up towards the corner of the belt. In the center of the lower torso, I'm going to draw two straight lines from the belt coming down. I'm going to add a seam on each leg. Stepping over, I'm going to curve down and out towards the left, and then the right. Now we're going to tuck the feet in underneath the pant. Starting on the left side from the corner, we're going to step in, curve around the heel, and back out. And we're going to go straight across towards the first toe, to right about there. Now we're going to round out the first toe, just curling this around and back in. We're going to add two more toes on the side. It's almost like a C shape stacked in beside each other. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the inside, round up the heel, and we're gonna go straight across towards the toe. We'll round up the big toe. I'm gonna to add two smaller toes right beside it. In between the last two toes, I'm just gonna to curve up and in underneath the pant. Do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna add a strap going across from the top of the foot, I'm gonna curve in and then down. We step in and draw that same curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add in the sandal. From the last toe, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down. And then from the heel, we'll draw the same length line and just connect those two points with the line going across. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start with the sleeve first. So just up above the belt, I'm gonna curve out and then up. Now I'm gonna curve this in and up underneath the head. Now let's move back to the left side and draw on the arm. From the inside edge of the sleeve, we're gonna step out, curve out and then down. We're gonna draw a little half circle for the bracelet. Now from here, I just want to curve across and down towards the left, just for the edge of the bracelet. 
Now we're gonna add the hand. Right at the bottom here, we're gonna add a small half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve down and up around the bracket. Now we're gonna add two more fingers. Stepping down, curve down and up. And then one final time, we'll go up underneath that line. Now let's take the end of the line here, we're gonna round this out, pull that back in. That's gonna curve over and up towards the inside corner of the bracelet. Let's do the same thing on the right side. I'm just gonna curve out and down towards the end of the bracelet. Now let's add the thumb. Add the bracket at the end. Now at the bottom of the thumb will come down and up around the bracket. Step down, curve the second finger, and then the third finger. Now I'm just gonna go back up to the inside. We're gonna follow that same curve going down and out towards the right, and we'll connect these two points with a curve. Now let's move back to the left side. Just above the end of the hand here, we're gonna step up above the bracelet, curve up, and then in behind the sleeve, leaving an overlap. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add the headband in behind the body. So we start on the right side, we're gonna wave around the body and over towards the left. So we start just beside the ear, we curve out, and then in behind the arm. Now this is gonna continue over on the left side here. Curve out, and then back in. Now we're just gonna trace this out on the inside. Starting at the top, just gonna leave an even space gap all the way around. Now we're gonna get a little bit thicker as we come down towards the end. Starting out here, a little bit wider and just pull that in. We'll connect these two points with a straight line. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Afro Samurai. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and share your art for a chance to be featured in our daily spotlight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.